Welcome back, everyone. This is the weekly performance report for September 2nd through September 6th. There were no noticeable activities over the last week in my portfolio, no purchases, no sales, just good old hodling, building up cash. As my seeming hiatus continues, I've not been paying much attention to the stock market. I saw a few comments being thrown around about how this has been the worst week since such and such date, or this is the biggest one day drawdown since such and such date, which kind of told me that things weren't going the best, but I wasn't aware how terrible they were going. As such, I figured that the market must have been down a few percentage points this week. Still though, I was a little surprised to see my portfolio down 3.42% for the week. Somehow, I did less worse than the S&P 500. Not really sure how that's the case, but normally in these kinds of big draw, I think the S&P 4%, down 4% on the week, roughly three and a half, four percent 4%. So the fact that I did less worse is surprising. Normally I'd be down 6 7%, but it's what it is. Between being burned out with research, analysis, and keeping on top of things, I've been busy in my personal life too. Then add in the fact that I've grown numb due to my account trading in the same place for the last two months and names I've owned for a year and a half going nowhere. If that's not enough, with all the efforts I've made in regards to this channel, Cup of Coffee Capital, publishing weekly, writing reports, and it practically is going nowhere. Now, I'm saying all this just to demonstrate that I'm not too incentivized to do much uh, other than these weekly performance reports, which is what I have promised to do when I made Cup of Coffee Capital public. So... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll finish this and then I'll touch back on that again. I've always written for myself. I'm not not writing for any other reason than I don't feel like it. It's an odd feeling and I'm unsure what to do with all this extra time. But for now, I'm going to go for a morning jog. It's a clear and crisp, crisp Sunday morning. And it was. That was earlier today when I wrote that, so... It is no longer morning there or here. Uh, but that said, end of the week down 3.42%. So what am I talking about incentive? So I, I want to get this off my chest. And fundamentally, you could just say this is the consequence of my inadequacy and my lack of appeal to other people. And if I want to be more appealing to other people, then I need to conduct myself in a fashion in which would be conducive towards that goal. And fair enough. Absolutely. I, I agree with that. With that said... It's kind of frustrating to see people open a Twitter channel and create some posts, maybe some videos, article here or there, and then they have like thousands of Twitter followers and hundreds of Substack subscribers within a, a few months. Now I understand that, I mean, damn near, I mean, half at least of, of what I publish is some psychoanalytical meta blah, blah, blah crap that people do not care about at all. They like to pontificate about it and jerk each other off and look smart at cocktail parties, but fundamentally, they don't care about it. Uh, they'll say they do, they'll lie, and that's fine. Just like when people say they want honesty, they're lying. I mean, it's more complex than that, but I'm not going to go on a whole tangent there. The, the point is, is people don't care about that stuff. They want to take some little quip and platitude and then apply it. Buy when there's blood in the streets. They don't care about investigating what that means. Well, you don't need to. It's obvious what it means. It's like, well, it's obvious you're probably stupid is probably as much as one can gather reasonably from that. But yet again, you can't say that to people because you don't want to insult your, your audience base. And I would hope my audience base doesn't say ignorant things like that. But nonetheless, that was a weird side tangent. My point is, is that I don't write a lot of stock specific, only the stock, nothing else type material. Uh, Kilroy, uh, Kodiak Gas Services. Uh, I mean, I've done some offshore oil and gas stuff back in the day that was more broad and, and things like that. But I, I don't do much and I, I need to and I just don't, up the, you know, giving a, a synopsis of Glasshouse reports or St. Joe reports or 
anything really, anything stock specific. So I know to some extent what I need to do, but I really am just burnt out in, in a lot of things in life. And that's no one's existential problem but my own. But I'm saying all this in case the, the very select few of you and really a minority of those people who actually do subscribe to this channel or to my uh, unmentionable channel due to being shadow banned, which is a whole interesting dynamic. Uh, only a minority of the subscribers to either of these channels actually probably only actually care, hey, where did all this highfalutin, hoity-toity thinking go? I enjoyed it. It was enlightening, or whatever one might think when wondering about where it went. And the answer is, is uh, why bother? I mean, the answer is, yet again, that's a rhetorical question, probably a cry for help or who knows what. But fundamentally, I'm just tired and taking a break, and I'm not trying to punish anyone. I, I don't care if, I mean, I do care if, I would like people to subscribe. That'd be nice. It'd be cool to make an income stream out of it someday or something like that. But fundamentally, I, I write because I'm writing for myself. And then I'm like, well, I've written for myself. I might as well just publish it. I've not written anything for a while now. I have a bunch of things kind of almost done, 90% done. Well, I have a few things 90% done. I think there's, yeah. And and it's, it's just like a, I've been busy and then the, the whole why, why bother and does it really matter? And I just need to take a break. So I, I am. So that's what's happening in this channel. With that said, portfolio's getting beaten up pretty nice. So that's always best to happen when you're not paying too close attention, am I right? <laughs> So, with that said, thank you for watching. Until next time.